how are you all hope you all are watch the before video for chapter 5 an introduction to excel today just we are going to recap what are all the topics we have learned in the before session okay first how to start a ms excel can anyone say before that take your book with you and then watch the video okay first we have to go to the start button after that all programs in that microsoft office and then we have to select the microsoft office excel okay once we have clicked then the workbook will be open what are all the things we have learned in this workbook as yes, we have several worksheets at the bottom of the page we can add number of sheets in a workbook right okay and then what are all the alphabets what is the name that contains the alphabets as yes, these are all the columns and the numbers these are all the rows very good and what is the black tick border what is the name of this border as yes, this is an active cell where we have placed our pointer then the cell will be highlighted with its black tick border that is called active cell okay and now if i placed my pointer here then the name of the active cell will be changed on where as in name box this is the name box see once i place my pointer there then the name of the box will be displayed under that name box okay if i placed here then e3 the active cell unique address was e3 so the name of the box will be e3 okay and then formula bar where is the formula bar here fx here this is the formula bar once i place my cursor there pointer there then it will show us that this is the formula bar and this is the file tab okay this is a file tab and these are all the things we have learned in the last class and now we are going to learn about how to open a new workbook okay how to create a new workbook first we have to take your page number in your book 46 see there are four steps to create a new workbook to create a new workbook we are going to follow these steps first we are going to click on the file tab where is the file tab is there is yes. this is the file tab once we click on the file tab this is the first step and the second step click on new from the list option where this the new word is there is yes. in the list this is a new okay if i click on the new tab then the new workbook box will be open what is the third step click on blank workbook okay default it has been selected blank workbook okay this is the third step and what is the fourth step click on the create button where is the create button here as yes, end of the box okay we have to create if i click on this create button then the workbook will be open okay let me see from first first we are going to file then new then blank workbook and then we have to click the create button yes once i have clicked create button then a new workbook page will be open okay we have created a new workbook by default there will be only three sheets okay sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 
if you want more worksheets then you can add by clicking the insert worksheet button okay and what is our next topic enter a data in a worksheet okay if you want to enter a data in a worksheet then you have to click on the cell first okay where the data is to be entered and we have to start typing now i want my text to be entered in this cell so i am going to click here and i am to type the text okay first i am going to type class okay after finishing typing press the enter key if i press the enter key then the active cell will be changed next to the box okay then now i am going to click on i c a c then now i am going to press the enter key then the active cell will come under that okay yes you will move the cell to below the active cell to move the adjacent cell press the tab key if i want to type the row wise then i have to type click the enter button if i want my typing to be the column side then i have to press the tab key now okay i am going to randomly uh, write the names okay name you have to type row wise right the marks will be we will be entering column wise first i am going to click the enter button then the active cell will be came to below now yes okay now i am going to enter the marks of these numbers now i am going to enter the mark as column side so what is the tab if i want my active cell come to the below sides i have to click the enter key if i want my active cell move towards the column side then i have to click the tab key if i click my tab key right i'm going to click my tab key see the active cell will move column side okay can you understand okay this we have to click two keys that is enter key and tab key if you want to enter a row wise you have to click the enter button if you want your data to be in column wise you have to enter a tab key okay if you want to click a tab key and there are types of data you can enter into a excel worksheet that is text numbers and formulas okay text data contains letters numbers phrases and special characters okay excel aligns the text always in the left of the cell see this is the text okay the names are arranged from the left hand side okay and the numbers numbers that consist of numerals such as 0 1 2 3 and so on excel aligns the numbers to the right of the cell see i have entered my marks there it has been aligned right of the cell right side of the cell and the textures are arranged from the left hand side and the numerals are arranged from the right hand side and the special characters or symbols such as equal to dollar at and so on these are aligned to the left of the cell if i click the equal to sign it will be arranged in the left hand side okay left hand side of the see if i click the special characters it will be in the left hand side and the formulas excel performs some mathematical operations such as addition subtraction multiplication average and percentage for doing the mathematical operations you have to use the mathematical equations called formulas your formula starts with an equal sign if you click the equal sign after that only you have to do your calculations okay now we are going to learn how to edit in a worksheet okay if i want the 
class here this is the class text we have entered right so i want to change that if i want to change the class there then i have to select this cell by clicking on it okay i'm going to click on the class then the second step start typing the new data and press the enter key now i want my subject to be there so i'm going to type computer then i am going to press the enter key once i have clicked my enter key then the text will be changed from class to computer right see here computer okay then we also can change the part of the data to by doing this following step we have to double click on the cell okay i'm going to double click on the cell then my cursor was blinking there on the a2 box see there my cursor was blinking there now i'm going to move my cursor and i want that i letter to be in capital so i'm going to edit that itself and i have changed the i in capital then once i have edited then i'm going to click my enter key see there will be change on icsc right okay like this we have to edit one the first method is you have to select the cell and you have to type what are all the things you have done and you have to click the enter key there will be changed in that box otherwise you can double click on that after that the cursor will be blinking on there then you can edit or enter whatever the things you want and then you have to press the enter key then the editing text will be changed okay this is how this is how you have to edit your workbook and then performing calculations to perform uh, calculations uh, such as uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division we have to use some operators to do the calculations that has been displayed in your book itself in the page number 47 table 5.3 operators in excel what are all the things are there brackets order that is power divide multiply add subtract okay these are all the operations that has been given in your book okay first we are going to add two numbers in excel okay see now i am going to add these two numbers i need i don't need this okay if i want to add what we have to do first click on the cell to make it as a active cell okay i have value in d and e 89 and 99 i am going my answer was to be there on f cell okay f2 cell so i am going to make it this as active then i am going to type equal sign and then i am going to write these numbers then after that i am going to press the enter key then my answer will be there 188 like this you have to do your calculations on excel okay we will move by step by step okay i am first i am going to make it as an active cell what is the second step type equal sign and then type the first number and then the addition operator after that i want to click the enter the second number what is the sixth step press the enter key see the answer will be displayed there okay likewise you have to do your calculation for subtraction division what are all the things okay now you all know how to do a addition now we are going to do subtraction so i want my cell to be active so what is the first step click in new to have active cell then i am going to press equal sign then i am going to enter my first digit and then the operation operator that is subtraction operator minus 
and then the second number after that i am going to press enter see the answer will be displayed for the subtraction okay for division we are going to click equal to symbol and then the first number and then slash and the second number after that i am going to click enter see the answer will be displayed now i am going to do a multiplication for multiplication also we have to first enter equal sign then we have to enter the first number and then the symbol operator and then the second number okay 4 into 4 what is the answer 16 right so now we are going to check that i am going to click enter key yes it is 16 the answer was correct right like that we have to do and we can do the full set of calculation will follow by follow the word mass rule okay see the calculation in page number 48 67 minus 21 divided by 7 into 2 power 3 they have been given the steps to do now i am going to make my cell as an active then i am going to click the equal sign then i am going to type 67 minus 21 divided by 7 into 2 power 3 now i am going to click my enter key yes the answer will be 43 you can do this calculation in your rough note and check with the answer. The answer for that will be 43. In your book itself, there has been given the result that is 43. Our calculation, we get on our worksheet also 43. Okay. And you can do for the practice time in your system. Okay. Practice time do in your worksheet and then cross check with your answer or shall we do it now okay first we have to make it as an active cell i am going to click on equal sign then i am going to enter the first number 578 then what we are going to do divide so divide symbol and then what is the second number that is 34 now i am going to press the enter key as it is 17 right yes okay like that you have to do and then next is the and you can also do these calculations by entering the formulas okay once i have entered in an active cell then the text or numbers will be also type down the formula box right so see now i am going to i want the addition of these four cell okay what i have to do is first i have to make this as an active cell then i have to click the equal sign then i have to type h3 and then plus h2 plus h3 plus h4 then i have to click enter once i have clicked enter the answer will be displayed there now i am going to enter a number here and then now I want my addition result here. What I am going to type, what are all, where I have the numbers in J8 and J9. I want my answer in J10. So I have placed my pointer there. So I make the J10 box to be active cell. 
then i am going to press the equal to sign then what are all the cells i want to calculate j 8 and plus and then j 9 these two cells i want the result okay addition at once i have typed the boxes which i want the addition then i am going to press the enter key once i have been press the enter key then the result will be displayed on the j10 box what is the result of 45 plus 45 yes it is 90 yes once i have been press the enter key then the result will be on the j10 box okay what is the result yes 90 it is correct okay very good next now i am going to save this workbook what is the first step i am going to click on the file tab under the file tab we have the save option once we have save then the save as dialog box will be open see the save as dialog box now i am going to save it in your folder itself i have folders for you see computer application okay these are all the chapters for you all okay now i am going to place this in a chapter 5 i am going to save it as editing part okay editing after that we have to click on the save button okay once we have clicked on the save button then our workbook will be save see at the top of the page our name editing will be save right okay now we have learned how to create a workbook and how to save the workbook now we are going to close this okay how to exit we have to click the close button here okay we have to click this close button here or else we can click the file button under that we have a exit option see here exit excel this is the another option to close the excel box but now we have to open the saved document means first we are going to create a document okay how to create a workbook click on the file then new tab and then the blank workbook and we have to click the create button okay now we have created the new workbook but now i want the saved document to be open okay saved excel workbook okay what is the first step we have to click on the file button then i have the open option here so i am going to click the open option then my excel has been displayed here right this is our file editing so i am going to click on that and then i am going to click on the open button to open my workbook now i am going to close my tab we are we want to click on this close button to close the workbook or we can use the file option then exit excel once i have click on that the excel will be closed that's all for the you all know we have the table to be completed on our first page of the lesson that is the page number in 42 right gopi is making a bill of the books and other stationery items what are all the items that gopi has been bought computer book notebook pen calculator and school bag okay and they have been given some details that is the quantity rate and amount we have to fill the empty boxes that is a b c d and e these are the five box we are going to complete now first we have to see whether the quantity has been given or the rate has been given or the amount has been given in first row see the computer book the quantity that gopi has been bought was one computer book the rate they have been given is for the 
one quantity okay the rate has been given in the tabular column itself that was the rate that has been for one quantity only and they have given the amount the amount they has been given that how much quantity does gopi has bought okay the rate is for only one quantity and the amount has been calculated here by how does the gopi has been bought okay according to the quantity they have been calculated here see now computer book has bought one quantity so the rate of one quantity was 199 so the amount also same 199 and next what is the second item that is notebook how many quantity two notebooks that gopi has bought okay for one notebook that has been 95 rupees now we are going to find it out for quantity to quantity okay for that i want my answer in this box so i make this box to be active and then i am going to click the equal sign then i am going to select h 15 okay we have to multiply it by 2 H fifteen into two. Then I'm going to click on enter. See now the amount was one ninety one, and then the third was a pen. He bought three pens, and the total amount was sixteen rupees. Then what was the quantity of one pen? So now I am going to click on the cell to be active, and then click equal sign. Then I am going to divide sixteen by three, like that. Also, I can do, or else I can write the cell address I sixteen divided by G sixteen. Then I am going to enter. After I have entered, then. Five point five rupees for one pen. Then the for total three pens, the answer was sixteen point five. Okay. Now I want the total school bag amount. Okay. Quantity he bought one quantity and the rate was being given three fifty for one quantity. Then the amount was also same that has been one quantity. Then the amount was three fifty. Now I. Now we have completed the rate and amount, but we have left the quantity calculator. So now we are going to find the quantity. How much does Gopi has bought? Okay, the rate of the one quantity was two seventy five. Then amount was five fifty. Now we are going to divide amount by rate. Then we are going to find how much quantity. Okay. I am going to click on the cell to be active, and then to do the operations or mathematical operations, first we have to click equal sign. After that, I want to divide five fifty by two seventy five. Once I have been typed my two numbers and operators, I am going to click enter. Okay, two quantity of calculator does. Copy and bought. Okay. Now I want the total bill amount. To receive the total amount, what we have to do? We have to add the amount column. Okay. I column. We have to add to receive the total amount. Where my total amount was, we type. It is on the bottom of the amount. Okay. So I am going to click on this cell, and I am going to click on equal sign. There was a two methods. First, I am going to do it by formula. Okay. To addition, the word was sum. Once I have been typed sum, then I have to do a bracket, and now I am going to select the five. 
quantity amount then i am going to close my brackets and then i am going to click enter see i have received the total amount that is 1307 now we are going to do it in another method first i am going to click equal sign then i am going to select i14 plus i15 plus i16 plus i17 plus i18 now i want my answer in i19 so i am going to click enter see the same answer for two methods we can do it on that method or like this method okay the same answer will be displayed that is 1307 that's all for this chapter 5 okay take your book with you and do it in your system in your home itself okay practice doing the addition subtraction multiplication and division sums do it on the manual calculation in your rough note do it in your excel workbook then cross check with the rough notebook and your excel workbook okay see whether both the answers was same like that you have to practice then you will be able to do the calculations in excel itself that's all for the chapter 5 you will be receiving your book back exercise in the next online class okay thank you all let's see in the next session